Hey, this is Peyton, and today I'm going to be watching the third and final official Super Mario Bros. movie. This one came before even the live action one in 86. Uh, its title roughly in English is Super Mario Bros. The Great Mission to Rescue Princess Peach. And I know basically nothing about this movie. Uh, I know that it is only in Japan. It was only released in Japan. It's apparently extremely rare to find physical copies of it. And today I'm going to be watching the... 4k restoration of it which has been uploaded to youtube it is uh subbed at least so i know what the characters are going to be saying but yeah i know basically nothing about this movie i know that there is a blue dog in it and that blue dog was very recently featured in a mural of mario characters created by thinginator90 on twitter i'll link to that in the description but yeah i know nothing about this movie all i know is that this is the third and final to my knowledge, officially made Mario movie, so I'm going to give this a watch and see what the deal with it is. So, here we go. Shochiku. Shochiku. Brought to us by the mountains. Okay. <laughs> of course, Mario's a capital G gamer. That's, that's one thing the... That this one and the 2023 one agree on. The kid looks like Ness. <laughs> oh, look at that Famicom controller. <laughs> well. <laughs> We're just... We're not- we're not wasting a minute. We're- how far in are we? We're a minute 20- 25 in. And just- just madness. <laughs> madness already. He's just coming out of the TV, bringing every classic Mario enemy with her. Oh, weird. She's got a- like a- Diamond necklace instead of just the thing on her dress. <laughs> Bowser pose. Okay, he's the boss of the monsters with with baby blue eyes. Put him up. Put him up. <laughs> Was that Bowser's voice? Mario! 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 <laughs> this voice. It's a rupee. Title card? Yep. <laughs> What, what am I in for? <laughs> what, okay, so Mario's a gamer. He's playing. There's Mario Odyssey hat. <laughs> just playing a game. Bunch of people just hop out of this TV. Okay. Doki Doki Panic. I think this is based specifically on Super Mario Bros. 2, so... I wonder if we're going to see, like, Shy Guys or anything. At least according to the, the Mario wiki, I believe it's based on Super Mario Bros. 2. Oh, I, re I really like those bloopers. These illustrations are cute. <laughs> Koopas are a little scary, but you know. Is that Luigi? Oh, goodness. <laughs> yellow, yellow and blue, the classic Luigi color palette. <laughs> Were Luigi's eyes just sparkling? Yep, okay. It's really funny seeing them drawn in an official thing with their mustaches just being like generic like this instead of uh, how they look now. 
Oh, there, there's the dog. The dog. He looks like a, like a toddler toy. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> These jump sounds while they're walking. Oh man. Going down the pipe. All three of these movies, every single one of them, they all involve going to the pipe to, to get to the magical place. I mean, it's just such a good setup, I guess, because it's like, how else are you going to get the, the Mario Bros to the Mushroom Kingdom? Just, I'm going the pipe. Oh my goodness. <laughs> just a little bit of a random Russian kick. <laughs> Oh, oh, okay. Oh, goodness. Oh, wow, toads with, toads with stars on their head before Thousand Year Door. Rick's Horse Tales and More, a original NES manual, I believe, with the horse tails. <laughs> there's a, there's a funny looking frame in there. I'm not sure which one, but there, <laughs> there was something weird about that. Oh, okay. I'm just accepting. I, at any point, anything could happen. Everything is just... just off-model enough to look so funny to me. Kib Kibidongo? What was the dog's name? Had a K. Goodbye. Old man. Who, oh my goodness, those mushrooms are dead. It's also funny seeing Luigi so obsessed with money. Kind of feels like something of a precursor to the Luigi's Mansion games where he gets so much money. Also, is there going to be a lot of musical numbers? No, not the laughing shrooms. Luigi, he's literally, he's literally tripping. Oh. Oh no, they're, they're emotion mushrooms. So far, like, out of these three films, this, the plot is a 10. Just the... The emotional roller coaster I've experienced thus far is crazy. <laughs> like the two frame animation for Mario wiggling. Now, are those meant to be. baby turtles? <laughs> They're birds. Or is the implication that they just become shelled birds at some point? <laughs> Oh, they're talking. They're they're sentient. They're capable of communication. But why wouldn't they be if if the Goombas could talk? <laughs> Jesus, dog. I do appreciate the use of Mario sound effects at least. Like that's something. Yeah, they're they're really leaning into the sound effects. Oh goodness. Help me, Mario, Mario. You're my only hope. I like that the light was going in front of Mario's face there. Toad should not be this human. This is... This is disturbing. Oh gosh, but they have alien eyeballs! This is... <laughs> this is... This is given the 93 Mario movie a run for its weird money. I can say that at least. Also, is that is that one toad just giant? <laughs> Good cut. Good cut. Clean cut. Next scene. So to recap that scene, 
Mario and Luigi stopped while traveling across abstract landscapes, made a campfire, Luigi went and ate drug mushrooms, and then they got kidnapped by birds and stumbled across the the mushroom of truth. All right. <laughs> But that was an earned victory for our for our, uh, intrepid heroes here. This is clearly Mario 3 now, with the giant enemies. Oh, there you go. Oh, can Mario just go big on command now? With his disproportionately small head? These songs in this... This, this very plot-driven story... I, I really feel like I've come to learn these characters so well. Luigi's infamous love of money. Oh, piranha plants. And also just an actual Mario song playing right now. It's really funny that they this dog design just exists in this movie. It, it's never ever come back. <laughs> Oh, he pulled out the pepper! His infamous pepper he keeps by him all the time. <laughs> they didn't even... Come on, guys. They didn't even trick you to get tangled. You, you were just asking for that one. You need to consult us. If you asked us to be plant food, we would have gladly obliged. Also, those... <laughs> the amount of animation errors in this is really funny. Like, the, the spinies just appearing in front of the dog, even though it should have been... Oh, now it's an L. He's become an L. Oh, he, he's moving. Oh my gosh. There's just... More than anything else, just certain frames of animation are the best part of this. Like Mario's face back there. It was getting like Ren and Stimpy level just about. I gotta say, our heroes aren't, um... They're not super proactive in this movie. I'm not really, uh... Feeling, feeling what Mario and Luigi have done <laughs> at any point, other than deciding to. They they were talking about going on this adventure, and then the dog stole the thing, and they've basically just been kind of flown along where they're supposed to go ever since. In this case, literally with this cloud. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? These musical numbers, though. This is everything. Is that- that's just- that one's just wearing a military helmet. Oh. <laughs> he just- we, we don't even get a moment of him being like, Wow, I can throw fireballs now. <laughs> He's just like, this is a thing I can do. <laughs> Hit the bricks. Do it. Do it. Mario Run? Was that like... Was that a real product? They were selling... <laughs> people... To everybody watching this fine film at home, be sure to buy yourself a case of Mario Ramen today. It's so yummy! <laughs> Gosh, that dog's bark is so intense. It sounds like it's being strangled, please. <laughs> this is exactly what we what we needed at this point. You know, the plot's been a little heavy. We've been going really fast. Let's slow down. Have a dream sequence of how Mario wants to marry Peach. Uh, yep, there's Luigi. He's, 
<laughs> the dog's voice is the worst thing ever. I can't stand this. <laughs> What? <laughs> he bro <laughs> ah, forget it. It's not worth it. Nothing in this movie is worth it. This is I I'm far enough in. I, I always try to give these like any movie I watch like a really fair chance I get far into it before I start deciding on stuff, but this is just so nonsensical. Oh, there they there he goes. This, this is a novelty, for sure. You just watch this to be like, I've seen the the original, original, original Mario movie that was only in Japan with the, the blue dog. <laughs> and Luigi crying, like, every third scene he's in. That shot definitely needed to be that long. What was that, three seconds? This music, why, why this music? <laughs> I can only comment on like the same couple things. The dogs laugh, the music, and that there's constant animation errors because I'm just like, this, this defies, defies comprehension. The Mario wiki has like a, uh, all in his cross, like he's a kangaroo. The Mario Wiki has like a multi-paragraph summary of the plot of this film. And I'm just like, what? what is there to say? It's like nothing has happened. I don't even know how much time's left. Oh, look at that white dot by Luigi's foot. <laughs> Part of the animation cell. In the moon, just... Coming up real fast. <laughs> okay, that that was the that was the first thing that I'm like, that was funny. That was cute. And immediately followed up with weird animation motion lines just hanging out on Mario's face for way too long. Oh. There's so many good frames in here, though. Like that <laughs> Mario's face when he hit the deck there. There's so much. There's so much meme material in this movie. And then there's this. These. These actual. Oh gosh. Th these actual, like, NES-styled Koopa Troopas are a sight to behold. I'm very glad they got redesigned. <laughs> I do kind of like this Bowser's, uh, face. Very expressive, cartoony. Peach actually looks, and actually now that her necklace is gone, she's magically got the, the brooch on her dress. The brooch, the brooch, the bo 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 brooch. I I'm losing my mind watching this. Gosh, that <laughs> there was no, no transition into that. It's just like now, Mario music, go. <laughs> Luigi's using wall hacks. No clip. Is it? This is a Castlevania gimmick. You can't have Mario going on gears. How did he pull that lever? Let me see that again. What is, what is the yellow? Is that meant to be an arm? I'm very disturbed. I don't want to know what that is. <laughs> oh gosh, they have little arms! Why do they have little arms? Oh no! <laughs> oh my gosh! Why even that? Every single shot is so long! 
Just put the lava out. Let them go get Peach, please. With this dog who's done nothing. <laughs> this guy kind of sounds like... The guy who's voicing Bowser sounds a bit like the... The person who voices Invader Zim. Like, they have a... That similar range. Why well, can't... I can't remember his name, but... That guy. You know the one. Raz from Psychonauts. Billy from Billy and Mandy. Other such character. Bowser and Mario fight. Here we go. I hate mushrooms. <laughs> is this is this movie just an advertisement for this ramen and seasoning? Is that what this is? Is it just an ad? Very expensive, poorly paced advertisement for products that haven't existed in decades. Hey, there we go. Q Super Mario Bros. Z fighting montage. So long, gay Bowser! I swear, Peach has said Mario 90 times in this film. All of her dialogue is just, Mario! 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 And, and her dress is bare again so that she can put on the necklace and it'll fill in the space. What? The dog? The dog? Not since Adam Sandler's Pixels, for real? They, they really just pulled a Qbert from Pixels here. Okay. <laughs> well, at least this guy was a human to start with. Okay. <laughs> I've given up. Is it- would it be wrong to say that this is somehow less like Mario than the 93 movie? Or at least it's like far less interesting? I don't know. <laughs> this... Wow. I'm here too! <laughs> What what words of wisdom to close this enchanting tale out on? Well, it did I hope Luigi at least got to keep his money. Hopefully they're they're rich now. As we use this same walk, walk cycle one last time. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Yeah, um, I'm not, I'm not even sure. I mean, it's not good. <laughs> it's, it's definitely, it is my least favorite of these three movies as a movie. As a Mario movie, I mean, technically, there was a lot of Mario stuff in it. They had the classic Mario ramen. They had the classic Mario dog design. And the classic character, Prince Haru, who, of course, is the dog, as we all know. Uh, I don't know. It's, it's this one, this is the most nothing of these movies. And the Illumination one is an Illumination movie at heart. It feels like a lot of, it's very fluffy. Like, there's not a lot that truly happens. But man, this, this movie beat it. It really managed to beat it in terms of just feeling like, like a nothing journey. I will say that 4K restoration looked pretty good. Everything's very high quality, which is uh, very good to see. Oh, the 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 post credit scene with the grandma. 
What are they gonna give her this time? Oh. <laughs> that. No, 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 no. Cancel, cancel. No, 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 no. Run it, run it back, run it back. What? What else? What else could you end this on? Just that. Just that. That uh, says it all. That face. That's how I feel. So I guess that is uh, Super Mario Bros. Is it the great mission to rescue Princess Peach or something like that? Um, it it was technically a movie. I guess you could say that it had Mario and Luigi in it and a dog who's actually a prince and uh, they fought Bowser and they used the power-ups I'm not I don't I don't really know I don't know I don't know I think it just kind of speaks for itself if you watch it it's it's a lot of nothing it's a big old fat nothing of a movie and uh, I'm not so convinced that it wasn't made primarily to advertise those Mario food products, the Mario ramen and the Mario rice seasoning or whatever. Yeah, uh, I legitimately got more joy from the mural I talked about at the beginning that featured that little dog character than I did this film. Can't say, can't say I recommend, but hey, got to watch it for free, so that's something. I guess now I gotta record a rant and f figure out how I'm gonna structure my thoughts on this. <laughs> on this 60 minutes of stuff. Yeah, uh, I guess I'll end it here. Thanks for, thanks for partaking in this, we'll say strange, strange little bit of Mario history with me. And uh, if you're gonna watch a Mario movie, either watch the new one or watch the 90s one instead. You are you are missing nothing by skipping this one, other than a couple funny animation cells. So yeah, that's it. I'll catch you guys later.